Hey YouTube. Uh, okay, this is going to be a, a somewhat short video to show you uh, kind of what went on during the Bannerman's Camp in the Wild uh, Living History event of 2023. And it's going to serve as a video that I post on the uh, event page on Facebook for Bannerman's Camp in the Wild 2024. Okay, to use some terminology that you can find in my video on coming to terms with living history, which will be linked to at the end of this video, Bannerman's Camp in the Wild is a FUBU full immersion private living history event. Now, what FUBU means is for us, by us. We're not associated, in this case, with any museum or historic site or public venue. It's us. We're going camping. We're just going camping a hundred years ago. Okay? Full immersion means that all of the time we are out there, from the time we unload the last thing from our car, until the time we put the first thing into it, packing up to go home. We are living in the 1930s or the late 1920s, depending on what you choose. We hold these events in the National Forest. We have absolutely no control. We do not charge any money. We don't charge any admission. There is no program. There is no schedule. There are no workshops, no seminars, no guest speakers. It's a camping trip. We're going camping. And we're going camping just like everybody else is going camping in the National Forest. Okay? If you... Come to the National Forest and you see us camping and you want to join us. What we ask is if you have a nylon tent or a hammock, go someplace where we can't see you. But if you want to come to the campfire and sit down and talk and find out what we're doing, uh, I can tell you that in uh, nearly 70 years, I have never turned anybody away from my campfire. And I'm not going to start now. Okay? Now, I didn't get a whole lot of specific video shots. I got a bunch of general shots here, and that's because, well, I was going camping. Okay? I was doing camping things. And I was also being courteous to the people who went with me, because if I sat down and did a lot of video shooting in the middle of a 1930s camp, well... That ruins the whole thing because now here's a video camera in the middle of camp. What shots I did get are taken at a distance and on automatic. So I put my camera back behind some trees or way off in the distance and filmed that way. So I apologize if you don't see a whole lot of detail in this. But we're going camping and we're going camping like we did a hundred years ago. If you expect to find the bathroom, you will find a bathroom. You will take a shovel and you will go out in the woods and you will dig a hole and you will poop in the hole and cover it up just like your grandfather or your great-grandfather did when he went camping in the 1920s and the 1930s. Okay, It's not authentic if you do it any other way. If you want a complete, authentic living history, a complete, full immersion living history, classic camping is the way to go, in my opinion. But hopefully, over all of this, what I'm talking about, some of these clips that you see here that, that I'm showing, uh, give you an idea of what a classic camping campout is. 
Now, this is being held in Texas in the Sam Houston National Forest. I would much rather you do your own 1920s, 1930s camping rather than take all the trouble to travel hundreds of miles to get to our event. Happy to have you if you want to do it, but I would much rather see this hobby expand. Okay? Use this as an example. Use this as kind of to see what can be done. Okay? We cook. We sleep in sleeping bags. A couple of the guys go out to go to the fishing hole. And they go fishing with period fishing gear. And then they come home and they tell period stories about the one that got away. We're going camping. Okay? If you want to go camping, if you like camping and you like living history, do a classic camping camp, just like we're doing at Bannerman's Camp. Okay? Hope to see you there. I always schedule these things on a full moon weekend, weekend closest to the full moon. And this year, in 2024, that's the weekend of the 26th of January. We do it after deer season closes and before it gets too warm to comfortably camp. Alrighty? If you live in Texas or are close to Texas and you want to come and camp with us, we will see you there. And this will be posted at both the Bannerman's Camp Facebook page and we will create an event page for this event. Alrighty? We'll see you down the trail.